Okay, we're here at Memorial Hall in Dayton, Ohio, with one of the um, only stars of the Kenley Player Productions, whose productions sell out months in advance. I'm talking, of course, about Paul Lynn. Paul, welcome to Dayton. Hi, thank you very much. Well, you've uh, worked on Broadway and television and motion pictures and summer stock. Uh, which would you say is your favorite medium? Well, I, I would have to say summer stock in Ohio. Uh, you know, it's certainly the, the most gratifying thing in the world is to sell out. Uh, that's your thermometer of, uh, of whether you're making it or not in this business. And uh, uh, the way they buy tickets and uh, come and enjoy the shows each summer, I would have to say that the, uh, the month I spend in Ohio is the, uh, certainly to me personally the most rewarding uh, thing I do all year long. It's interesting. Well, and you, of course, this year you're in Plaza Suite, which is a Neil Simon comedy, and in this you play three different characters. I just wondered if you've ever done a multi-character role before. No, I have not, and I never will again. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's the right. it's the roughest play I've ever done, and uh, if I'd known it was this hard, I, I wouldn't have done it. Uh, it's a most difficult play. You can't let up for one second, or it doesn't work, and... Uh, it is, uh, I'd rather just have more fun and maybe a, in a Woody Allen play with more jokes or something, you know, because this play is very, very difficult. Yeah, I noticed you uh, really let it all hang out sort of in the third act. Yeah, the third act is probably the, physically it's the hardest, but it's the easiest for me because I've played that man before. Right. And uh, it's the second one is the hardest for me. Uh, it's an image uh, that I don't have, and so it's very difficult for me to play a, sexy sexy guy you know on the make and uh uh it's the roughest for me the first is my favorite right the first of course is the um you might say the struggling marriage yes it is and i think uh it hit home it hits home to most of the audience of right. married couples about that age uh, they all go through the problems that this couple's having right uh, plaza suite of course like i said is a neil simon comedy and Neil Simon's success as a comedy writer depends on his unique style. Uh, does this require adjusting your style as a comedy actor? Well, it, it, I, I, you know, I tried to submerge Paul Lynn, per se, as it's very difficult. Carol Burnett uh, just did Plaza Suite in Hollywood, and uh, I went to see it, and I thought Carol did her very best not to be Carol Burnett. And, it, of course, that's very rough because she's so identified with the Carol Burnett of her Carol Burnett TV show. But she really, really tried, and I thought she was marvelous in it. But we talked about it, and she said, the audience doesn't want you to be different. They want you to be Carol Burnett or Paul Linda, as in my case. But I've tried my best to, uh, to honestly try to be three different people. Right. I noticed um, the audience reaction of, of the first two vignettes. They, you just didn't seem your own... Uh, Paul and self, you were more or less playing the character, yes. which is what you're supposed to be That's doing, right. really, giving That's the uh, actress, in this case, who is it, Renee Oren? Renee Oren. Right. Um, give her, fine actress, by the way, give her a chance to do her part. But in the third act, you, uh, the audience seemed to perk up, really, because you were your old uh, Paul and self, yes. more well, or less. It's, it's, it's more outrageously funny, uh, by far, than the other two plays. Uh, and uh, the first play, if there are any laughs, it's, uh, it's Renee, because I'm playing straight man for her in that play. I, the wedding's over, and uh, uh, I, uh, you know, I've come to that hotel that night to tell her that our 23-year marriage is over. So, you know, there's not, that, that isn't very funny. <laughs> Paul, you do more television than anyone but talk show hosts, it seems. Uh, how does this affect your developing a character for the stage? Well, it makes it difficult uh, because being so identified on television with the many hours I'm on each year now, uh, it makes it even more difficult to uh, be someone other than Paul and uh, when I'm on the stage. But I tell you, you just find that the people coming here, that the reason they bought the tickets is they want to see the same Paul and they see on the screen. And it, uh, it makes it difficult because I did train to be an actor and I try to always act and give the uh, playwright the justice he deserves because I think you're only as good as what you say. That's true. Very true. Speaking of television, what can we look forward to from you in the 71-72 season? Well, as of right now, I'm going to be doing five Dean Martins, uh, five Glenn Campbell, three Carol Burnett, thank God. That's my favorite show. And, uh, of course, Hollywood Squares every day. So, uh, and pr try to work in some Bewitched, because the kids do love Uncle Arthur, but 
I, uh, I just, and that never ceases to amaze me when they call me Uncle Arthur. I was just in that parade today in New Paris, and it was Uncle Arthur, Uncle Arthur, all the way along. And I only do one bewitched a year. So they must, they must rerun my episode uh, every day or something, because the kids, it never ceases to amaze me that I'm Uncle Arthur to them. Well, I hear you're planning your own television series, um, produced, of course, by... Uh, the guy who produces Bewitched, isn't it? Yes, yes no, right, actually, right. Um, right. What's um, the theme of this? Do you well, know? Uh, they're talking right now that I, I don't know. There's a charisma about myself with teenagers. If I'm the exasperated father, you know, I had great success with Impossible Years, and uh, of course, great success with Bye Bye Birdie. Again, a father that you know with young kids, and I think they want to go with that kind of format. Uh, today's family. Uh, the way, way it really is, uh, not not you know not as satiric as All in the Family, uh, but which I love, uh, but uh, more uh, more of a, an honest 1971 family situation and the problems they're facing, and hopefully comedic. <laughs> right.